Take care of your blacksmithing anymore? Yeah, we brought you a bunch of horses that needs new shoes. You might as well take them home. I've closed the blacksmith shop. Look at this. Stock in the new silver mine. The old ghost town's gonna boom again. Ain't that pretty? Just look at it. I'm practically a millionaire. How do you know the mines are still good? Ah, uh, they petered out 50 years ago. Ah, uh, that's just what everybody else thought. Those old prospectors just used picks and shovels. You know those two new fellas that I fixed a stagecoach for? They're mining engineers. They're bringing in new equipment. Gonna dig deeper shafts, high-powered machinery. They're putting in their own smelter plant. Even gonna fix the roads so we can bring automobiles in here. Now look, fellas, I went out and I begged and borrowed and stole every penny I could get a hold of just so I could get in on it. Maybe you got something there. Yeah, there could be some silver still in the ground, I guess. Now look, fellas, if you got any money, get in on it now before it's all gone. You're not just buying stock, you're buying land, and it's good land, and you'll share in the profits of the silver mine, too. Well, Roy sent us that check. That's where we're going now, to put the money in the bank. Yeah, we sold that big bunch of quarter horses. You boys own half the ranch, and Roy Rogers owns the other half. Now, there's one of him, and there's four of you. Why don't you put it up to a vote? I'll vote for Roy. I'm in favor of it. Me, too. Me, too. Me, too. So, here's a check. Where do you send the money? Now, you're talking. J. Malcolm Vanderpool. He's the biggest promoter in the country, and you'll never regret it to the day you die. Mr. Vanderpool! Mr. Vanderpool, stop! Hey, hey, it's me, it's Carol. It's important, Mr. Vanderpool. Hey, let me out of here. Good morning, Miss Martin. What's the matter? Oh, Mr. Vanderpool, we're in trouble. Your office is full of private detectives and process service. The landlord came in and somebody's trying to take the furniture out. Here, you better read this. It's from your mining engineer out in Sintown, from Bill Regan. I... It... Uh, it could... I never dreamed anything like this would happen. Please don't feel so bad, Mr. Vanderpool. You haven't even given Sintown a chance. They haven't been working out there long enough to really find out. Oh, it's no good trying to fool ourselves. I know all along it wasn't any good. It's just like all those mining deals. I was just hopeful that was all. If it only lasted a little while longer so I could pay some of these bills. But, but what about that $20,000 that came in yesterday from those men out west? It's all gone back, Alamon. Oh. I don't care what you say. I still think there's silver in that mine. I was born out in that country. I ought to know. Carol, you're the best secretary I've ever had. But it's no good, dear. I know when I'm licked. Now, you go back to the office and close up. Tell them, tell them anything. Tell them I've, I've disappeared. Why can't you go out to Sintown yourself and find out? I wouldn't dare. They'd grab me the moment I got off the train. Then why can't I go? Now, what good would you do? A secretary? <laughs> well, they wouldn't even talk to you. Carol. You've been very, very kind to me. Almost like my own daughter. Well, who's that? Oh, that's one of those process servers. He was running a horse as I got in the cab. You better go. Carol, you know that two months' salary I owe you? Yes. Well, here it is, dear. in town mining stock, would you? No, thanks, lady. I didn't think so. Two months' salary. Poor Mr. Vanderpool. Me, just like his own daughter. Daughter. Why couldn't I be?
nobody's home, Trigger. We better find out where this thing came from. Sorry, I'm a little new on the job. I'll give you a hand. You just better learn to meet these trains on time. I guess you don't know who I am. I'm Carol Vanderpool. Daughter of J. Malcolm Vanderpool. Well, lucky you. Not the Wall Street Vanderpool. I thought you'd be surprised. Will you ride inside or out? Out. Your Highness. Don't, Mr. Wise Guy. You're fired. Well, you can't fire me. I'm I not... certainly can, too, fire you. My father owns this stage. Now, just get off and see how you like walking down that hot road. Okay. Come on, Trigger. Hey, wait a minute. What's the matter? Do you want to change your mind? Well, no, but if you're going back into town... I'm not. I'm going prospecting out in the hills. That's where you belong. I can handle these horses just as well as you can. Giddy up. to come in by itself. That's what you think. Hey, boss, a dame. You amaze me. What a ride. No wonder this company's going broke. Here, let me help you. It's a little late for that, isn't it? Your stage driver left me stranded clear out in the middle of nowhere. I'd be there yet if I didn't know how to drive this outfit. Uh, what do you mean about the company going broke? How do you know? I'm J.M.'s daughter, Carol. This is no dame. Uh, Miss Vanderpool, uh, uh, I'm Bill Regan. Uh, why didn't you wire us you were coming? I didn't expect to find anybody here. There's no more money, you know. Why, um, I'm really very glad to see you. Uh, you don't think I'd run out on your father just because it didn't pan out, do you? Hey, Mike. Yeah, boss? Now get Miss Vanderpool's bag. Give him a hand, Mike. Hello. I want you to take Miss Vanderpool to the Hangman's Hotel. Boss, the, the, the Hangman's? That's what I said. Okay, boss, if you say so. 
My boys are very thorough, Miss Vanderpool. Is that it? Well, I'll admit it isn't first class now, but it used to be. Now, Mike will clean up a room for you. You run along with him. I'll see you later. Thanks. All right. Hey, boss. You're not going to let her stay in that hotel, are you? That's the idea. One night in that haunted joint with the coyotes howling and the shutters banging, she'll be glad to leave. We don't want her hanging around here. Yeah, but what about that remark she made about the stage driver? Yeah, I know, I know. That's got me worried, too. I don't see how the driver could have been old Ed, though. Maybe we better make sure. Stagecoach came back into town. Yeah, I know. The horses got away from us. But we got all that nice and safe. Why did you let me be a banker instead of a prospector? Silver. You know why you're here, don't you, Ed? I said you know why you're here, don't you, Ed? Yeah, not because I was invited peaceable. They snatched me off the stage and then they let my horses run away. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is in your handwriting, Ed. Yeah. Dear Mr. Vanderpool, have found a real silver vein on your land. Don't trust that sidewinder, Regan. Yeah. Get your hide down here as soon as you can. Signed, Edward Llewellyn Carruthers. Well, P.S. Just ask for old Ed. I can't understand why you wanted to contact Vanderpool. Now, where is it? So he, he wanted to win the silver into you. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, it's buried under the ground. The same as I'd be the minute that I was fool enough to tell you where it's hid. Gary, take care of our guest. If there's anything he wants, give it to him. Oh. <laughs> Where can we find Miss Vanderpool? She's right here, upstairs. You two better go in, Cookie. She'd never give me the money. When I left her, we weren't exactly on friendly terms. <laughs> All right, Roy. Good luck. <coughs> Miss, will you hold the door open for me? Sure. What's the idea? I didn't see you. <laughs> Which one of you is Miss Vanderpool? I... Put it oh, away. Oh, just a minute. Never mind, Mike. I'm Miss Vanderpool, and just what can I do for you, my good man? Well, I'm Cookie Bullfincher, and I wanted to ask you something about that mining stock. Oh, just what did you want to know about the stock? Well, oh. we bought $20,000 worth, and we got to have our money back. You see, we borrowed the money from the bank on some horses. Now we don't have the horses or the money. No, oh. we're liable to all go to jail. Yeah, we'll all go to jail. You mean you're going to go to jail? But as soon as Sintown gets going, that stock's going to be worth a lot of money. Well, that's good. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll let you have all of our stock just for what we paid for it. Oh. Well, that's very nice of you. Uh, you. You could write us a check for it right now. Yes, I could write you a check, but it wouldn't be any... I didn't bring any with me. Well, I could get you some right down the street. Listen, I know. Chubbins, you heard what the lady said. Go on, get out. You heard what he said. Out you go. Oh, no, he don't. Stop it! Oh! <laughs> 
That's not funny. Oh, you need You troublemaker, you. He's always making trouble. He hit poor Mike when Mike was helping me clean up the room, and he's the one who was driving the stage, too. Oh, he was, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess this just about makes us even. Uh, let me talk to him, Miss Vanderpool. I'll get this straightened out. You get down and get Mike. This place is really a mess now. What's your name? Rogers. Why? All right, Rogers. What were you doing driving that stage? Well, I saw it running away, and I stopped it. And you didn't see what happened to the driver? No, I didn't. Why all the questions? I haven't seen you around before. Do you work in this part of the country? No, I just happened to be riding through town, and I heard the fight, and I tried to bring it up. You sure did. Those two guys Shut came up. up. You couldn't be looking for a job, could you? I might be. We can always use another man, can't we, Dave? Listen, Regan, I... Take he... him up to the mine and tell Gary to put him on. Okay, come on. Look, I... Now, take it easy, Dave. I know what I'm doing. What do you need him for? He's our alibi. He was driving the stage, wasn't he? Yeah. Old Ed's gonna turn up missing, and Rogers is gonna have all the questions to answer. Ah. Uh, but old Ed, he... Tell Geary to give Rogers something to do that'll keep him away from that shack. Now, get going. Hey, Roy! Come on, get out of here. I'm working for Regan. You got a job? Yeah, don't let him see you talking to me. You're gonna work from the inside, huh? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Now, oh. be... What's the matter, Genevieve? Did old Ed run off and leave you? Well, I wouldn't let you starve. I'll feed you, old girl. Good evening, Mr. Bullfinger. Good evening, Mr. Regan. Hiya, fellas. I'm sorry about the mine not panning out. I suppose you still have that worthless stock. Well, we're getting some use out of it now. At least it keeps the wind from coming through those cracks. Well, mining's a gamble, Cookie, but uh, I hate to see anybody get hurt. I just might be able to make a deal with you. Huh? You mean you want to buy that old stock? Did you hear that, fellas? I <laughs> swell. Well, I might be able to give you a few cents on the dollar. I mean, just enough so that you don't lose out entirely. Say about $500, whatever you and your friends put into it. <coughs> $500? We paid over $20,000. Well, it's better than nothing. Why don't you ask your friends? But, but that ain't very much money. We Go ahead and ask them. All right, but that still ain't very much money. Good evening, Miss Vanderpool. Hello. Mr. Bullfincher, yeah. are you open for business? Sure, what can I do for you? Do you think you could clean this up and put some bullets in it for me? I thought maybe I might need it. Oh, I guess you would, living over there at that old Hangman Hotel. I wouldn't stay over there with the cannon. Now, let me... Hey, where'd you find this? I found it up at the mine. I thought maybe one of those old prospectors might have lost it. Well, it looks like it belongs to old Ed. You know that fellow you hired to drive the stagecoach? Genevieve? How about it? <laughs> Just as I thought, it is old Ed's gun. It might not be the same gun. Yes, it is. Old Ed's in trouble, caught in a cave-in or something. Saddle up, fellas. We're going to the mine. Sure All right. There's no reason for him to get so excited. Old Ed's always wandering off somewhere. My men will find him. See if you can stop him. Huh? Here's your gun. It's all loaded, Miss Vanderpool. You might need it or something. What did you do with old Ed's gun? We took it from him and threw it away. That was a stupid thing to do. Now that dame's got him. Cook and his friends are on the way to the mine to look for old Ed. Get up there and bring him back before they find him. Sure, boss, well, sure. Hey, Gary! I saw 
a hurry. There's some riders on their way up here. Rogers, you stay here and stop them. Get out of the way. Pull up, Cookie. This is the end of the line. What do you mean? Well, I can't let you in here. I'm working for Regan, remember? Oh, but Roy, old Ed's up here someplace. That was his gun the Vanderpool girl found. Ed's gun? Yeah. Then that's why there wasn't anybody driving that stagecoach. Someone must have grabbed him. But why? Have you had a look around? No, they've kept me busy guarding this gate. Well, now's a good time. <laughs> Oh, no, we won't. This won't work much. I told you to keep him out of here, Rogers. Now, get going. Stand aside. Oh! Well, we're looking for old Ed. I say there's nobody in there. Now, I'm warning you, this is some private property, and they're going to take you to jail for trespass. We're probably all going anyhow. Anybody got a match? Here. Hey, Roy. Look familiar, Cookie? Yeah, could be. Get him out of here. Can you take care of him all right? Sure. Hey, somebody's leaving. Taking you birds in for trespassing on private property. Move over to your horses. You, Rogers, bring that horse over here. Cookie. What's Genevieve doing here? I don't know, but it must mean something. What you doing here, old girl? We'll have to find another way to get in. Oh, uh, Roy, I better stay here and keep guard. You're coming with me. But I'm Roy, Roy. You, you, you know the legend about, the, about that old hanging man that comes to life at midnight and haunts this place. You're not going to believe that stuff, are you? Well, I'm not going to, but I do, don't you? <gasps> okay, I'll give you a boost. No, 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 you go. I'll give you a boost. Come with me. Don't forget the hangman's ghost. Huh? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. You see, I told you. 
told you it's the hangman's ghost. You look down that way. No, I'll stay here with you. Go on. Oh, but I am. Can't you see that Miss Vanderpool's painted? Ah! <laughs> Stay here, both of you. I'll be right back. Get away from me now. Stay away from me, do you hear me? So you won't tell me where the mine is, huh? I'll find it myself, but I'll fix you so you won't tell anybody where it is. Now, wait, wait a minute now, please. Hey, Roy, Roy! Old Ant's upstairs, I found him. Miss Vanderpool. Oh, 
Dad. Well, where is he? Who? Who old Dad. Oh, I don't know. Are you sure he was here, Cookie? Oh, honest, he was here, Roy. We gotta find him. You go that way. Oh, no, you don't. Hello, boy, Cookie. Did you look around down here? No. Nothing here. That old man can disappear quicker than anybody I ever seen. Well, at least we got one of them. Let's take him over to your blacksmith shop. I want to have a talk with you. What's the trouble, Rogers? Your friend here is going to explain what he's doing in the hotel. I'll explain that. I sent him to look for you. Hey, bud! Oh! Roy! Roy, you know why we couldn't find old lad? Look! That makes it a murder charge, Rogers. Now, wait a minute. You're not accusing me, are you? Why not? The last time we saw Ed, he was driving the stage. Who was driving it when you arrived, Miss Vanderpool? He was. That don't prove a thing. He'd never kill him. You still got Ed's gun? Yes, it's upstairs. Good. I guess that's more damaging evidence against me. Yeah, that's right. You found it at the mine, didn't you? He found it. And he was in the hotel, too. That's all we need to know. Take him to the sheriff, boys. And I suppose halfway there, I get a bullet in my back. Not me. Trigger! Oh, excuse me. Why didn't you stop him? Are you kidding? <laughs> Here now, they're looking for that ore you got in your purse. Give it. That's it. Get her inside, Cookie, and turn your team around. I'm going to get this silver into town if it's the last thing I do, and you or nobody else is going to stop me. You hear what he said? Now get inside. If you're afraid to drive these horses, move over and let oh, me drive. Are you? Put me down. Now, if 
if I had my way, how I'd like to sort of stray to a land enchanted as a fairy tale. Every night my dreams go riding down the Grand Canyon Trail. The moon is there on high. Sitting pretty in the sky, and a man can gather stardust by the pail. Every night when dreams go riding down the Grand Canyon Trail, the river's a ribbon of silver. And the fireflies are playing peekaboo. And may I kind of casually mention there's many a perfect rendezvous for two. And if I bide my time, there's a chance in time that I'm gonna meet someone who listened to my tale. And we'll share the dream that's riding down the Grand Canyon Trail. Any luck? No. How are we going to find her in all this rain? What are we going to tell Regan if we don't? Yeah. Guess we better keep on looking. You take that far ridge. Okay. What do you think you're doing? Oh, well, gee, it's cold. I thought I'd get some more wood and put it on the fire. I'll get some out of the closet. Okay. Hey. Gee, hello, Mike. Glad to see you. You put your gun away. He's in the closet. Wait a minute, I'll get my things. Where's the silver? It's in here. He didn't get it. Okay, let me help you. Okay. used to it. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Here it is. Wait a minute, I'm gonna go with you. No, you're not. I couldn't find him out there anyway. Take it, Miss Martin. Sit down. I think we better find out just who you're working for. It's true, Roy. I'm not Carol Vanderpool. I just said that I was so, so I could come out here and find out why Regan put out that false rumor about there being no silver in the mine. What difference did that make to you? Well, I was Mr. Vanderpool's secretary. He was always very nice to me, and I liked him, and that rumor, it just ruined him. 
I guess I just messed up everything. I'm sorry. I'll go. Wait a minute, Carol. You're not going to give up now and let Regan take everything. Not if anybody's got any ideas, I'm not. When you said false rumor a minute ago, you gave me an idea. What? If you want to stay Miss Vanderpool a while longer, we'll start her own rumor and say that we discovered a silver mine. But what if we don't find any silver mine? Well, the sheriff's already after me, so one more charge wouldn't make any difference. Good morning, Miss Vanderpool. Good morning, Mr. Reagan. Did you want to see me? Yes. Did you know your father was on his way out? He is. Arriving on the 1040. Uh, well, isn't that nice? It's a nice surprise, isn't it? Yeah. I, I, I guess I better get back and meet him. Those friends of Rogers are going over to pick him up. Oh, well, thanks very much, Mr. Reagan. Goodbye. Looks bad, don't it? What do you mean, bad? Looks good. Those fellows are picking up a passenger they don't know about. A sheriff with a pocket full of warrants. Sheriff? Hey, Regan! Just a jogging along, singing a song, not a worry or a care. Easy to please, free as the breeze, I'm gonna be a millionaire. Not a thing on my mind, troubles behind, oh, what a wonderful day. Standing on the outside, looking on the inside, everything's going my way. Yippee-yay! Rich or poor, life can be sunny, but just to be sure, have plenty of money. So I'll say skidoo to all of my blues, no more skies of gray. Gonna take it easy, out where it's breezy, everything's going my way. Yippee! Gonna live like a king, won't settle for less. I'll have cattle in the bank and money out west. So I'll say skidoo to all of my blues, no more skies of gray. Gonna take it easy, out where it's breezy, everything's going my way. Well, Regan, dear old fellow, dear old boy, so we've struck it at last, eh? Well, I need the dough. I need a lot of it. I've got a lot of bills to pay. I'm very sorry, Mr. Vanderpool. That was just a false rumor. You're the sheriff I sent for? Yep. Well, arrest these men. There's no such mind. But, but uh, honestly, I, I didn't start any rumor. Well, your daughter did. That makes you responsible. My daughter? I never had a daughter in my life. Well, there's a girl in the hotel. If that's not your daughter, who is it? Halt in the name of the law. Just a minute, young lady. Why, Carol Martin, what does this mean? I'm sorry, Jay. I'm honest, I am. I was only trying to help you, and I... Ah, another charge against you. Impersonating somebody who ain't. But there is silver here. Honest, there is, Sheriff. I've got two good friends, Roy Rogers and Cookie Bullfincher, and they're both up there now looking for it. They're following old Ed's mule, and she's bound to know where it is. Why don't you go up in the north section and talk to them? Rogers is wanted on a murder charge. Take these people to jail. I'll bring Rogers in, dead or alive. Don't you believe him, Sheriff. They'll murder Roy. What difference does it make? We're going to hang him anyway. And another thing, I came well prepared. I couldn't find anything that even looked like silver. Well, it's got to be around here someplace. This is the second time she's come right to this spot. You can tell she's at home here. Look how she picked her way through them rocks coming up. She's been here with Ed, all right. We'll just have to keep on looking. Well, it ain't plight to point, but give me a clue, will you?
Must be Regan. I'll try to hold him off. You keep on looking. We've got to find that mine. Don't come any closer, Regan. You better give up, Rogers. It'll go easier with you. Some hunters, that's all. Hunters. Oh, bumpy, isn't it? Excuse me. You better keep me careful, young lady. Yeah. anything yet? Not a thing, Roy. I guess we're on the wrong track. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to hold them off. Let's get out of here. on you. That's not what they're figuring on. Well, we can't stay here. You see what I mean? A fella could get hurt around here. Okay, Cookie, if that's the way you feel about it. That's the way I feel. Oh. All right, Regan, call out your men. Okay, Rogers, but come on with your hands up. Hold your fire, boys. When they get down by the pool, let them have it. Better hold it. Here comes the stagecoach with the law. Oh. Hey, Roy! The sheriff's got us under arrest. Tell him you found the mine, so he'll let us all go. I wish I could, Carol. We know it's around here someplace. We've looked everywhere. We can't find it. A likely story. Uh, well, uh, you pardon me, won't you? Thank you. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. I guess I better unlock those. Ooh, just one more charge against you. You don't look very friendly. I'm going to look some more. Oh, excuse me. This is the man you want to hold for murder, Sheriff. Oh, he is. Hand over those guns, young fella, and come along peacefully. Now, hold up your hands. Hey, you! Hey, Cookie! This is the mine. We were standing right next to it. <laughs> That's what Genevieve was trying to tell us. Old Ed put a piece of canvas over it, then covered it up with dirt so nobody would find it. And then the rains came along and made a puddle out of it. Unfortunately, young lady, you're right. But there's still a murder charge against that man. Well, I'm not the man you want, Sheriff. It's Regan. If you'll check into it, you'll find that it wasn't a bullet that killed old Ed. Well, murder or no murder, I'm preferring charges. Well, it's not going to be me. Okay. Hey. I'm 
sorry, Carol. Oh. I'm glad that wasn't me again. Me too. Thank you.